Hello, this is Jamie from randomizeduser.com, and the sun is setting over Monolithville in more ways than one. Um, welcome to the season finale of Let's Play Savage Lands Season 1. Um, all 46 episodes so far have taken place on this island, um, but since the game is about to move to a new island using the Unity 5 engine, it would be the perfect time to start afresh, so it would be, be really obvious that um, um, Season 1 episodes are on the old island, and Season 2 episodes are on the new island. So in this episode, I'm going to round up every last detail about the incoming update, information so far buried mainly in the, um, the Twitch streams by the developers. Um, um, the update is estimated to be mid-December, but that could change in either direction, and there may be beta access earlier. Um, and while I blather on, um, there's a new building, or there, there, there soon will be, um, because I'm going to do something I've been meaning to do for a long time in this series, finish off Monolithville by building a town hall, um, which will also help me finish off the Savage Lands achievements. Um, let me just go into Steam, see if the, uh, hopefully you should be able to see this on the video. Uh, right, so let's look at the um, global achievements. Um, I've got most achievements, but there's still a few I'm missing. Like, I am build a, a blacksmith, although I have, so I'm, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend I've got that one. Um, um, I, I haven't crafted a wolfsbane, bizarrely, believe it or not. Um, or at least since they introduced that achievement. And also, this is the main one. Who runs Barter Town? This is the one you get. Um, it's a hidden achievement. Um, it's the one you get when you build a town hall. So that is what we're going to do. I've already started, um, as you can see, um, but it's a, it's taken a very long time. I managed to get 172 bits of wood, but you need 400. 400? That's a liberty. So I've got to do a lot of wood chopping, um, and also I might try and get the um, um, the dragon involved, because that might um, um, help us get wood quicker. Piss off, mate. Mate! Ugh. Um, so there's also going to be a massive info dump in this episode, where I just discuss all the, ch um, the upcoming changes, which will be fun. Right, so just leaving Monolithville behind now, um, I'm going over to West Monolithville, which is basically a hut. Um, it's a hut on a hill, which I built ages ago when I was trying to get Kerr's attention, because it's on the flight path. Um, and, that, and now I'm going to try and do that again, so I'm going to start cutting trees, but I'm going to hang around here, um, because the, um, hopefully the dragon will fly overhead, we'll aggro him, and we can use him to burn down some trees and get lots of extra wood, so I don't have to waste lots of axes. Speaking of which, let's get my chopper out and get to it. Oh, there's a blood. Oh, piss off. Ugh. So, inevitably, I'm up on the roof. Um, um, just in the in the top right hand corner, it might be difficult to see, you can see the um, the fairly nearby Kurtazul Dragon Tower, and the dragon is in. So I'm going to keep on watching for him. Hopefully he'll fly over, We can and then we can aggro him. Um, but for now, I just need to start chopping. Right, so let's, um, let's talk about the update then. Um, moving to Unity 5, what does it mean from a precise technical perspective? Well, who cares? Uh, <laughs> the devs aren't even sure yet exactly um, what the finished result will be. Uh, the main point is that Unity 5 will make it a lot easier to add new stuff, and both obvious stuff and under the bonnet changes, which will be nice, because updates will probably happen quicker. Um, apparently they've, they've added, they've pretty doubled the dev team as well recently. Um, it's, it's all hands to the pump trying to try and get the game towards a full proper actual release. Uh, yeah, so in the, the new update, the um, graphics will actually apparently improve. There'll be, like, for instance, um, cool new shaders. Um, and the devs have stated that the sun and the moon will finally operate properly, like an actual sun and an actual moon. Because if you look at the sun at the moment, look, it's just sat there, like a big fat orange in the sky. Uh, look at it. Look at it! It's not moving. But apparently the new one will actually do that. It'll actually move across the sky, um, as will the moon, and everything will be realistic! Um, <laughs> in a survival game set on a dragon-filled island. Uh, um, uh, at the moment, I don't know um, if um, saves will actually work on the new island. Um, saves of the old island. Um, it's a bit, so it's still a bit uncertain. I think they're trying to, they're working on trying to make it possible, but it won't happen straight away, if at all. Um, so before the update hits, I am actually going to loot all my chests out of Monolithville um, and put them on my person because I've got loads of character storage these days. Oh, the dragon! The dragon has set off. Right, let's wave our little willy at it. Um, hey, lads, come on, come on, come on, come on. It won't, it won't happen. Um, it won't happen. The, every time I try and aggro the dragon purposely, he ignores me. Um, the only time I ever aggro him is by accident, uh, and then suddenly I've got a face full of fire. Uh, come on, mate. Mate! Mate! Oh, I can see your bits! He's not having it, is he? Oh, come and, come and help me. Do my bidding, you fat fuck. 
Okay, so let's take a bit more of an in-depth look at um, what's going to happen in the new update. Um, we'll look at the, um, the first new features to be added, the new map, new creatures, new AI, combat changes, new buildings, lore, and a few other bits and bobs. I've got them written down in a big list so I don't miss anything, although I probably will. So we've already discussed um, the basics of Unity Five. Let's look at the um, let's um, let's examine some of the um, the first of the new features that's going to be added. The, the, the stuff that's going to happen it's pretty much straight away, I think, possibly with the with the actual new update. Um, fall damage, fall damage is finally going to be introduced, and it will be based on how far you fall. So if you go to the top of the Dragon Tower and toss yourself off, you'll know about it, um, as will everyone else on the ground, because you. Oh no, but. Oh no, these these are these are shits these days. Because yeah, they, 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 they where's my building gone? Where's where's West Monolithville gone? There will be oh god, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fight him. Uh, right, okay, there will be ow, there will be dual wielding in future. You'll be able to dual wield weapons, which will be tasty indeed. Oh, I've got to hit, I've got to kill him because I'm yeah, we, I don't really want a death in this episode because that would be a piss and a half of pissiness. Oh god, I can find some bandages now. Let's. Go. Oh, I'm bleeding as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Um. Do I? Ha I know what I'll do. Um. Quick. Quick. There. I'll heal the old-fashioned way using magical spirit orbs. So another thing they're going to add is a loot all button. When you get a corpse, you'll be able to press Q, and you'll be able to loot every single item immediately without having to faff around your inventory. There'll also be a character customizer. There is a, there is actually one at the moment, but it'll be a better one. Um, it's only phase one what they've in, um, added at the moment. Uh, my character wasn't even created using the, that character customizer because it's such an old character now. Um, it's um yeah it's it's pre character customizer, but there will be a new one coming up. There'll also be crouching. You'll be able to crouch, and the jumping will be better. Uh, which I. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what good jumping and bad jumping is to be honest, but um yeah apparently that's going to be improved as well. I should really do something about that bleeding. Um, I also need, I, need, I need to warm up as well, so before I chop anything else, I'm going to set everything on fire. Like a madman. There we go. Fire! Right, while well, that's happening, let's discuss stuff about the new map. Um, as previously mentioned in, a, in one of these videos, there will be um, one large and two smaller islands in the new version of the game. Um, but the method of getting between them is currently secret. Um, my money is on the Channel Tunnel. Or possibly not. Possibly it's just going to be a small boat. <laughs> I think that probably fits in with the law better. And there's a fucking bear. I'm going to squit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've quickly jumped into a different save. Um, I think um, uh, Monolithville was getting a bit too tasty. So I think I better just um, set the... This is, this, is a save, this is a save near the Eastern Dragon Tower. Um, so I'm going to warm myself up a bit. Eventually. Some trees take a while to catch fire. If at all. Um, let's get some food in me. I need to start up the bleeding. Bloody hell. Um, so yeah, the, uh, just going back to the map, um, the game designer's philosophy is that um, players should not want or able to be um, staying in one place during the entire game. And we already know resources don't respawn magically. Um, and in future, the map will be designed to make you move around to find stuff you need. There's a chance that trees might eventually regrow, um, but things like rocks and everything won't. So, nah. As for, um, as for an actual um, map that the players can use to navigate, um, if you read the forum and Twitch streams, that's the question that comes up above all else. Um, which is, um, yeah, it's getting on people's tits a little bit. Um, I disagree. I, I, I'm happy with no map at all. I think it's good to learn. Um, but whatever. Um, and if a map does happen, it won't be just like a mini-map at the corner of the screen that fills in as you go along. It'll be more like a, a bunch of map pieces that you you find in the world and you stitch together, which I think will fit in, fit in more with the survival sort of feel, rather than the um, pseudo-survival bollocks of a lot of kind of RP, that a lot of RPGs actually do, um, which ain't great. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the stumps. Oh, God. I... Nah. Sod off. Oh, charcoal. Oh, yeah, of course, because that, that, that burnt down, didn't it? Um, so the dragon isn't actually in at the moment, um, which is rather perplexing. I wanted it to be in. Uh, just keep him watching the skies, see if he's anywhere near. By the looks of it, no. Um, I'm at the eastern dragon tower, so at the moment, what am I doing? I'm facing west. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll stay here, because I'm, 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 this should be the side that the dragon turns up on, um, vaguely. So I'll be the south or to the west. So um, while we're doing that, let's talk about creatures. There's going to be new creatures. Um, God, I'm just... I'm starting to um, die ever so slowly. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was easy. Yeah, so the um, new creatures that are going to be put in the game soon, there's going to be a giant ogre, 
um, a troll, which is separate from the giant ogre, and also, of course, the forest giants. Uh, we're going to add a rabbit into the game, uh, and there's going to be a fourth creature. I'm not quite sure what that is at the moment yet. Um, there's been um, there's been uh, on the uh, Twitch streams they did they've ha they have shown off um, a couple of things like a raven, um, but I don't think they're actually planning on putting that in the game anytime soon. More charcoal! Hooray! Um, I really need to find some bloody bandages. Um, I haven't got any. Weirdly enough, I've got no cotton and I've got no bandages. I've got everything else in the game, but not that. So I think I might go and find some sundered cotton. That would be useful. Oh, bone dust. Thanks, game. Fame. Uh, where's it? There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, creature populations in the new update won't be so mixed because at the moment on this island it's pretty evenly balanced around the whole island where things are. Yeah, I mean, we'll, certain kinds of wolves are in the south, certain are in the north, but it's not very complicated. In the new one, it's going to be a lot more kind of discreet where things will appear, um, or will also be the same. That'll be different on the different islands, giving you more incentive to move around. As I said earlier, um, there will be more um, AI improvements as well. I think the developer. The developers are looking at um, making so that the wolves attack deers and also eat the corpses of players. Um, and all, they want the dragons to set fire to wooden structures um, and forest giants to break through structures when they're on the rampage. Um, yeah, I really need that cotton. I, I just defaulted to hitting things. Um, right, come on. This is actual proper survival. Uh, let's see. Sun, there's lots of sundered cotton around. Uh, so let me... Oh, yeah. The drops on sundered cotton are a lot better than they used to be. Um... Have I got enough yet? It's, it's sick. You need six bits of cotton just for one bit of cloth. And then you have to turn that into bandages, which ain't very nice. Um, skeletons used to drop loads of um, cotton, but was it cotton? I think so. But that seems to have died down a bit now, so it's a, it's a bit harder to get bandages. Um, I need to start crafting. Right, cloth shreds. Aha, basic bandages. I can craft a bandage. Um, hopefully that will uh, stop the bleeding. Um, because I can always cure myself a bit with um, spirit orbs and things. Oh, I can hear the dragon. Where's the dragon? Oh, it's, it's gone overhead. And come on, come on, use the use the bloody bandage. Oh, it's a cloth shred. Fuck. <laughs> uh, people shouting at the screen there. You idiot. There it is. There's the actual bandage. I've got one bandage. Has it stopped the bleeding? Mm, no. Fuck. I am ascending the dragon tower to try and get his attention. Mate! Oh. Ow. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait for fall damage. Right, okay, so combat. Let's talk a bit about the combat in the new update. Um, oh, Fury. Oh, God, there's also... <laughs> Draymar. I can't move for Draymars these days. Uh, yeah, he spawns in two places. One, the um, uh, the northwestern ruins. One near the eastern dragon tower, as we saw in the last episode, and this episode, and previous episodes. But not in future episodes, because the island is changing. Um, well, we, we might as well fight him. Oh, the spirit orb's dead. Oh, well. Um, we might as well talk about the combat update whilst we're fighting Draymar. Uh, well, so they're going to introduce shields? Oh, there's a fury. Uh, I don't really want to take him on. Because it's going to cause more bleeding damage. Uh, and we've already seen that, so I can't really do much about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the most effective I've ever been against. Ow! Dicks. Okay, start tonking. Right, actually, sod it. Rage Bane. <laughs> I'm going to coward my way out of this. Yeah, so they introduced shields, making combat more interesting by letting you block attacks. And that. I think he is a bit bigger. Um, see previous episode. Um, and secondary attacks have been looked at as well. Um, new types of bows and arrows. Um, different types of bows and arrows have been promised since um, they were first introduced, which is ages ago now. Uh, I remember the first time I got a bow and arrow, coming up to one of the dragon towers and trying to shoot the dragon. Oh, how naive I was. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yes, and um, buildings. I think we should talk about buildings as well. But first, we'll go back to Monolith Build, because I've got quite a bit of wood, and it doesn't look like the dragon is going to entertain us any time soon. Right, let's, let's fill up the bloody town hall with the what little wood we've just picked up. Uh, so, yeah, as, as, with regards to buildings, um, the town hall um, is actually going to get an update in the, um, in the new version. Um, so, it's going to be lovely and full of furniture now. Um, like, so it's going to feel a bit more like home, and you can also make big decisions for your gang, if you have a gang. Uh, yeah, structures, all structures in future, I think, um, are going to have floors as well, because the, the town hall has a floor, but a lot of the other ones don't. They just have a disgusting, dirty, dirt floor. 
Um, so, yeah, they're going to introduce those flaws. Um, maybe not immediately, apparently, um, but it, it is definitely going to be coming quite soon. It's very dark. I'm going to I'm going to hide in here for a second. They're going to introduce a smokehouse because um, if you look at the um, journal, uh, mocking me. Look at that a prick. Look, even now, after all this time, uh, hang on, that's not it. That's it. Um, um, cured boar meat, cured deer meat, totally locked. Haven't seen that in the game at all yet, because the only cured meat you can find are the ones on, like, on the starting beach, or a few other spawns. Uh, look at it. Uh, that's all. Um, but yeah, yeah, there is going to be a smokehouse, so you can make your own cured meat, including things like cured boar meat, which will be nice. Um, the forges, um, which I'm actually currently in at the moment, that'll get an update at the moment. Um, building a forge is, of course, supposed to get the achievement, which I haven't got, which is still bloody annoying. Actually, let's, whilst we're here, let's have a look at um, Wolfsbane, because I think um, I think um, you get that achievement, the, the Wolfsbane achievement, by forging it, as we saw at the start. Um... I'm, I'm looking at the wrong tab. Prick. <laughs> uh, Reckless Edge? What even is that? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I can't see it! Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, it's alphabetical, isn't it? Yeah, never noticed that. So we need high quality ore, medium quality ore, log. Fucking logs. Amber and coal. Uh, it's a bit more than what I've got at the moment, so maybe we'll do that later, if I remember. Which I probably won't. Lore-wise, um, there's already hints of lore in the game, um, but it's mainly it's mainly not been actually in the game itself. It's actually it. it uh, there's a bit in the journal, but also um, we've been hearing um, other bits of lore from um, the developer Chris on Twitch streams. But it's still not very much. Um, I mean, I've, I've done a video guide on that somewhere. If you if you want to have a look at that. Um, but yeah, in the future, there's going to be a lot more stuff. Um, players will be able to pick up stuff from fallen enemies um, and other places as well to get scraps of lore, which will be added to a lore tab. My axe is broke. Ugh. Uh, I can't even bloody... Re yes, I can. There we go. It's back, back, back! Right, so yeah, there's going to be... Um, an another interesting thing they're going to add is fishing. Um, it's, it's on the to-do list. Um, the devs are thinking about how this will actually work in practice. Um, maybe turn it into a Minecraft-style jamboree, where with every cast you might catch a fish, or just some old junk, some crappy boots or whatever. Um, it should be quite fun, but, you know, fishing. In this picture, there are ten undead furies, none of which can be seen. Hang on, haven't I already done that joke about 20 episodes ago? <laughs> Uh, forget that. Right. Okay, so there's quite a few other things actually in the update, um, kind of like miscellaneous things, which we'll um, which we will touch on. Um, first of all, um, slightly boring for most people, but apparently modding will be introduced. The map met might be introduced, uh, opened up to the modders, but only after the full update, uh, the full release, I should say. Um, so once it's come out of early access, which is going to happen. Um, it's getting closer and closer, apparently. And um, as I said earlier, they've, they've added more um, devs into the game. They've shuffled a lot of people about. In <laughs> well, he's come back to bite me in the arse. The prick. So yes, there's going to be a lot more people working on the game now, so updates should happen thick and fast after the Unity 5 update. Um, come on, get tonked. I seem to find fighting these... Um, is best if you don't go left and right. A lot of them, if you, if you go around in a circle, you can get get rid of forest gremlins without them laying a hand on you. But with um, with these matey boys, not so much. So with the, um, the new builds on the new engine, um, seasons will technically be possible. But given that the um, Dragon Kerr cursed the island in, in, into perpetual winter, that seems a bit pointless. And I, I don't think they actually are going to introduce some seasons. I don't think the game is going to suddenly turn into better late than dead and get all tropical on our arses. There's another fury. Ugh. Where's, it, where's, it, where's, it, where's the dragon gone? There it is. Mocking! <laughs> um, in the new update, um, uh, there's going to be a UI change. At the moment, you can see the... Um, the bars in the top left. Um, where's where's the mouse? Oh, we, oh, can't I can't point with the mouse. Um, top left, those bars are going to change. I think I think they're going to change into icons to be a bit more kind of pretty. Um, and yeah, that's probably going to happen immediately, but it might be a one or two updates hence, um, depending on priorities and all that. So yeah, in general, the future is looking good for Savage Lands. Um, Kerr's just on his way over now, but knowing what's happened so far, he's, um, he's going to ignore me completely. So it feels like Savage Lands really is um, ramping up now, even if the last few updates have been fairly small. Um, I'd say the team has increased in size somewhat recently, so that should make things even more exciting and prove that the devs are still very much committed to the game, which is hooray! Um, also, one final thing about the update. Um, the devs have suggested... Fuck you, Kerr. 
you b- bastard. Um, the devs have suggested that anyone who bought the, um, the game Savage Lands in early access will get a special in-game item to show how great they are. Um, hopefully a helicopter. I'd like a helicopter. Give me a helicopter. I'm just having a quick warm by the fire and cooking some more meat that I've gathered. Um, let's see what um, how far I've come with this, because I've collected quite a lot of wood now. Um, 2 to 5 out of 400. Um, right, so I don't think this is going to do it, but I think we're going to get very close. Which is useful because I'm running out of things to say about the new update. Um, really could do with a kind of like a add all button, I think, instead of just like one at a time. Because bloody hell, this is taking some... Oh no, there we go. Um, I still need another um, 73 um, logs and plus quite a few sticks. Oh, and it's morning. It's finally morning. Um, okay, I shall see you in a short while, after a bit more log chopping. Looks like Kerr is going nowhere fast, so to speak. <laughs> okay, we're returning to Monolithville for possibly the final time ever. Um, as well as loads of wood, I've also been mining a lot of things as well, um, because um, I want to also be able to do the um, the Wolf's Bane sword. Um, so actually, let's do that first before I piss about with that, because I think I need some wood to do this. Uh, let's go into here, let's find the forge. Wolfsbane, this should, in theory, get me an achievement. Um, I've got the high quality ore, um, medium quality ore, um, one log, um, loads of amber, um, and coal, which I was severely lacking in until I went mining just now. So, craft me do! And there we go, achievement unlocked, a wolf's bane. Um, could have sworn I must have forged a wolf's bane before. That might have been before the achievement was locked in, though. So that's one of my, um, that's my, um, Hidden achievement, um, and now for my other hidden achievement, with any luck. Um, look at that, so, something's appeared in the bottom left box for the first time in years! Stupid bloody box. Stupid! Right, here we go! Let's finish it off! Finish building! Hang on, how much have I got left? Just over 50. I, I'm not 100%, 100% sure I've actually got all the sticks. So this might be a brilliant anti-climax. Hooray! Oh, here we go, here we go. I've done all the wood and now I'm onto the sticks. A six... Oh. Still 11 to get. Oh, bollocks. Right, let's see if I've got enough wood to make loads of sticks. Oh, that might be enough. That might be enough to do this! Uh, there it is! There's the achievement. Achievement unlocked. Who runs Barter Town? And that's the other hidden achievement. So, I've got all 12, 20 achievements, apart from the blacksmith one. Which means building a blacksmith. Oh, I'll do that on the new island. Fuck it! <laughs> yeah. Did I ever actually explain this? This lean-to I built in Monolithville? I think I, I think I tried to explain it in about five different episodes, and each time I edited it out. So I'm going to do it again. Haha! <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, to hell with it all. Um, thanks for everyone who's watched these, um, even just one of these 46 episodes. Um, it's been weird looking back. Um, oh god, I need some food. Um, weird looking back to like the first episode where it was going to be um, just like a one-off Alpha Soup episode. Um, oh, was at that time I got an entire episode out of Sconces. That was fun. The well-known word. Um, the How to Find the Monolith episode where I didn't really tell you properly how to find the monolith. Um, oh yeah, and the one I did when I was raging drunk. That was fun. Hooray! Good times. So, season two starts soon. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, then please consider doing so. Um, that way you can be notified of when new episodes go live. And I get to brag about numbers, numbers, numbers. Right, okay, sausages. Um, see you soon. Season two awaits. So much for the fucking dragon. Bloody bollocks!